All right, everyone. Today I have something special. This is a 2022 Ford F-150 Tremor in the Highline 402A package. It is in gorgeous antimatter blue. It looks amazing. Let's check it out together. So under the hood of the Tremor is the powerful 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's actually great on fuel and tons of low torque. You also have these quad beam LED headlights that are fully automatic. They can auto level, they can bend the light around corners and they have auto high beams. LED fog lights to go with those. Then you have sensors in the front bumper. If you get too close to something, those will beep and go off and let you know. The Ford emblem up front is painted in black behind the chrome, which looks great. And then you see all the tremor touches up front with that deep gold yellow look. Uh, the front tow hooks painted in the same color, which looks awesome with the antimatter blue. Also has an around view camera. So there's a camera in the front, the back and under both mirrors. And that front facing camera even has its own spray washer nozzle to spray itself off. The vehicle also has a forward detection system with pedestrian detection, meaning if somebody uh, walks out in front of the truck last second, it will stop for you. That saves lives and saves some money on insurance. This vehicle has been upfitted because of the trimmer package with these gorgeous aluminum alloy wheels wrapped in 32 inch general grabber all-terrain tires that look just meaty. It's also one inch wider than a regular F-150, giving you a really nice solid stance. You see the F-150 Tremor badging on the side there. These specialty running boards with the nice slots in them, meaning if you get any mud or anything in there, it's got a good chance of draining out. You have a color match, power folding, heated mirror, memory settings, and a blind spot system in it. So that lights up and lets you know somebody's in your blind spot. You also have an easy entry pad system, so you can put your code in here and unlock the vehicle. You can also put your hand inside the door handle, sense the heat from your hands, and unlock. Press this button right here to lock it, and when I do, the mirror's power fold in, nice touch of luxury. On your key fob, you have unlock, lock, remote start, and power tailgate, as well as alarm, or you can download the Ford Pass app and do that anywhere from the world from your smartphone, all for free. Thank you, Ford. Then you see the tinted windows off the back. It looks great. And we're going to open up this rear door and you get your first look at this gorgeous Tremor interior. I love all the accented stitching on here. And then you see the seats. They do have this lovely yellow tinge inside there. Uh, definitely a unique seat only for the Tremor. You see the Tremor stitched in the top as well. And again, some really nice piping in here. Now in the back, this is a 402A package. These rear seats are heated. You also have 12 volt power supply. USB power supply and full inverted power supply. This one also has the upgraded 2 kilowatt onboard generator uh, inverter. So that system runs a 20 amp breaker. You can run a microwave off that plug in, which is awesome. If we fold this seat up, it's a totally flat floor that Ford is known so famously for. And this has been upfitted with some awesome all weather mats to protect the floor. Now we come to the back, it is a five and a half foot box, making it nice and easy to turn with this one. It still gives you a nice length to put things in. The suspension has all been upgraded on this Tremor package as well. It comes with upgraded Fox suspension, which gives it a little bit of a lift. It also has piggyback reservoirs for those monotube shocks. If you bottom them out, they've got extra space um, for that air to go. The Tremor decal looks great. Come to the back. This has the nice dual exhaust setup. It looks awesome on the back here, cut out from those bumpers, and you have extra tow hooks, recovery hooks if you need to pull somebody out. Backup sensors off the back bumper, which lets you know if you're getting too close to something. And the vehicle has a rear sensing system. So if you go too fast and you're gonna light into the light pole, it'll actually stop the vehicle for you. Backup camera and an LED light in the tailgate. And again, a blacked out Ford badge back here hit this button on our key fob and this says the upgraded power tailgate so that's going to power down for us and then you see we've got a full spray and box limer also has lights in the back box tie downs which are removable and again that upgraded inverted 2000 watt generator with 20 amp breaker then we have the upgraded work surface on the tailgate shows you how to measure things put your screws in here pens your phone for how-to videos and this comes with a tailgate step Pull that out and you have a nice handle there for getting in and out of this thing. Then on either side you have C-clamp holders so you can do some woodwork if you feel like it and clamp things down to the tailgate. And then you have a strap holder 
on either side to run straps across and from the bottom it duels as a bottle cap opener. If we want to put the tailgate up, again hit that button twice and that tailgate comes up nice and easy which is awesome. Now let's go in front here, we're going to open up the driver's door and I just always love showing the capacities. So on the stickers for this vehicle, those are the capacities for this truck. Then on the driver's door, so we've got our power locks, our memory functions, power folding mirrors, power windows, and then we have this Bang & Olufsen stereo. This has the upgraded 18 speaker unleashed system, which sounds so nice in here. And there are literally speakers everywhere. There are two little ambient speakers in the headrest. There are speakers up top in the headliner. There are speakers in your A pillar, right there's a tweeter and another one. Big center channel speaker, sub in the back, really great sounding system. Now on the dash, again, nice little touches with the gold, slightly yellow gold look. I don't know what to call it, but it looks great with this setup. Then you have your power tailgate. This is for your inverted power supply to turn that on or off. And then you've got map lights underneath both of the signal light or underneath both of the mirrors you can turn on and off. Set it and forget it headlights, you can put in automatic mode fog lights, cargo lamp, interior dimmer switches, power adjustable pedals, emergency brake, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, and then the super comfortable 10-way adjustable driver and passenger heated and cooled front captain's chairs. And I love the bolstering on here. And again, the stitching and everything just looks awesome on these. Let's climb inside. All right, now that we're inside the truck, we're gonna hit this push button start. Fire this one up. Built Ford Tup comes across the display there. Full digital display. As you can see, we've got a digital speedometer, digital tack, and a bunch of other readouts you can put it on. Right now, I have it in a little off-road mode, showing the pitch and roll. If we turn the steering wheel, you can see those numbers change on us. Um, on the steering wheel itself, we do have this adaptive intelligent cruise control, so it can slow you down with the vehicle in front of you, or you can have it set so it slows you down or speeds you up with the speed signs. As it goes by, it'll take a picture of speed signs and display those for you in this speedometer, as well as slow you down or speed you up if you want it to. Then it has a lane detection system, which also can be used as its semi-autonomous driving system. It's known as Ford's lane centering system. It'll steer the steering wheel for you using the lines on the ground, um, basically, you you know, driving the truck for you. Then you've got volume controls, voice recognition, another blacked out Ford badge, and then we've got controls to that display up top, as well as phone and stereo controls. Now, this leather wrap steering wheel is heated, feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning. Again, that nice speaker, nice place to put things. And then we have our huge 12 inch display here with some buttons up top. What are they? This is an engine auto off setting. This is for our 360 camera setup. So you can see all around the vehicle, right in front. And we can press this button here and change all the different views. So we can go big camera, triple view. We've got a bed camera. We even have new for 2022, an auxiliary camera setup. So you can hook up a camera on a trailer or in anywhere else you'd like to put a camera and you can stream into this, which is awesome. And then we do have our trailer camera. So backing up, hooking onto a hitch. And last but not least, our backup camera. So awesome views to be able to do that. You can also press this button here and you can zoom in on individual corners, to see how close you're getting to things. Just really cool. Then we have our park sensors, our four-way flashers, traction control, and this button, which is only on the tremor. What does that do? Trail control enabled. You can actually set the speed to like five kilometers an hour going down the trail and only drive with one pedal if you want, which is really awesome. So you don't have to worry about braking as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it slows the vehicle down like you're putting the brakes on. Works amazing. Now in this screen, we've got audio, we've got phone, we also have navigation. You can blow this up to be the whole screen. It's a connected navigation with Ford showing real-time traffic. Works awesome. You can see we've got the time, dual temperature controls, uh, and ambient temperature outside. Um, this vehicle does have a modem for Wi-Fi enable. Uh, you can do a lot with this whole setup. Now this also has the new Sync 4 for over the air updates and has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so you can project your smartphone up here. If you want to use your maps from your phone, your Spotify, your podcast, all that stuff can go right up here wireless if you want it to. Um, we've got some favorite buttons, apps and settings. Now the features one is also fun. There's some stuff in here, especially being a tremor. Trail turn assist, you can actually press this and you can turn this thing super tight on a trail, kind of like a bobcat turns. 
Um, we also have that pro power on board. So I told you kind of like that generator setup on the vehicle with the inverted power supply for 2000 watts and a 20 amp breaker. Again, just huge breaker. Uh, and then you do have zone lighting. What is zone lighting? Well, zone lighting actually turns the whole outside of this vehicle into a giant flashlight. And we can light everything up with the LED lights. Really cool. Uh, on this side, you've got some kind of pages that you can go through. So I had satellite radio on there, fuel. Um, and we can go through a bunch of different information just from the pages. Off-road is another fun one. Down here, we've got volume controls. You've got dual climate control. This is my side, my passenger side. Then you have your heated steering wheel, heated seat, and air conditioning controls. Air conditioned seat, sorry. And then fan controls. Very easy. Love that there's a switch for up and down here. Then we have this nice tray style. Open this up. And you've got a um, wireless charger as well as USB and USB-C connection. Then we have our 10-speed automatic transmission. Again, nice stitching. M for manual mode. And you can shift up and down through the gears using the plus and minus. Or if you press this button, it folds right out of the way. Then we have place to put pens, cup holders. And this is upgraded with the work surface. So if we open this up, you have a nice place to work from. Uh, if you want to have a snack, whatever you like to do. Um, but you've got a nice little table there. On the side here, we have Pro Trailer Backup Assist. So you can actually um, set this up with a trailer so you can back up just turning this dial and uh, you don't have to use a steering wheel. It steers the steering wheel for you. The nice thing about that is if you go left with this, it'll make the trailer go left. You go right, it'll make the trailer go right. Usually you have to counter steer to do that when you're backing up. Trailer Brake Controller. And then we have a four-wheel drive so this not only has two high four high and four low but also set and forget it for automatic love that for winter driving or even some trail driving uh, you have a locking rear differential and this one actually has the upgraded torsen um, limited slip front differential as well on this particular package and you have drive modes what are drive modes well if i spin this dial you will see we can go from normal to slippery to deep snow and sand to mud and ruts and then rock crawl, which is only on FX4 and tremors. That's for low range 4 by 4 ing uh, Or we can go the other direction from normal and we can go to tow haul mode. We can go to eco or we can really wake up this 3.5 and go into sport mode. You see it puts us in all wheel drive and it changes all the, the background there. It looks like it's ready for fun. Um, on the other side, we do have a 12 volt power supply and another 20 amp 120 volt inverted power supply. Upper and lower glove box. Um, I love the graphics that has been done on here. It just looks so good. Come up top, you have an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror. We have some map lights. We have a power sliding rear window, a uh, place to put your shades, and then a Tremor exclusive upfitter switches. This is really nice if you ever want to do a light bar or anything else. It's all set right up for you. Garage door opener is up in the visor, and that completes everything on this beautiful antimatter blue 2022. Ford F-150 Tremor. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do me a huge favor and click subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I make a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks everyone.